We are set to bring you baseball from one of the crown jewels of the sport, venerable Wrigley Field in Chicago. It'll be Diamond Dynasty action this evening between Elm Street and San Antonio. Stepping up to the plate, Jackie Robinson.
Now from the windy city of Chicago, baseball from beautiful Wrigley Field. It should be a good Diamond Dynasty matchup tonight between the Gamblers and the Machine. It's going to be a premier pitching matchup. Two of the league's hardest throwers go head-to-head -head next. At the plate, Jackie Robinson. He'll get us started in this Leading one under the, the lights. Gamblers, the second baseman. Jackie Robinson. Now the first pitch here from Price. And we are underway from Wrigley as the first pitch of the night is taken for ball one. And a good heater as he just watches this baby, a ball and a strike. Expected to get a little cooler as we go on, but the temperature at game time, 68 degrees. Outside, two and one. And this will miss as well. So he's in danger of losing the leadoff man here tonight. It's three and one now. Rounded down the third baseline. But this will wind up foul as he runs the count full now. A ball hit softly on a line to third. And this will be no problem over at third. And there's the first out. The left fielder into the box now Ted Williams as he'll get his first opportunity in this one here's the first pitch to him and this pitch is taken on the inner half for strike one ball one two and one to Ted Williams now Just getting things underway here at Wrigley. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Braun over to his left. He hauls it in without any trouble. And there are two away. Now, now batting third. Ken Griffey the Jr. First chance for him here in the top of the first with Ken nobody Griffey on. Jr. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Fouled off. Two out, nobody on. Price ready with the 0 1. Another one fouled off, and he's quickly behind 0 and 2. Now the 0 2 from Price. And it's fouled away. The 0 2 once more. Breaking ball, and he gets him to chase it in the dirt. Weeders has it, and that ends the inning. Coming to the plate now, D. Gordon. It lead things off here in the bottom half Leading of the first. For San Antonio, the second baseman, D. Here Gordon. comes the first pitch, and he gets ahead 0 and 1. Wind up and the 0 2 pitch. Fastball called strike three, and there's the first out of the inning. Stepping in, Ozzie Smith as the switch hitter will take Ozzie. his cuts left handed here. 
Yeah, yeah, he's not quite as powerful on the left side. He's certainly not Chipper Jones, who had pop from both sides of the plate. Much more pop hitting right-handed. 1-0 oh, the count. The 1-0 oh home. A swing and a miss, strike one. Well, clearly this guy doesn't need many warm-up pitches because he's 98 miles an hour in the first inning. News flash to the offense. They better get it going. And it's 1-2 and two to the Wizard. One out, nobody on. Misses, ball two. This kind of hitter right here, we call this guy a grinder. What are our grinders? They just kind of foul off some good pitches. They, they lay off the pitches just off the plate. This is every pitcher's nightmare. A guy that's up there with a plan and not just up there swinging at anything that you throw towards home plate. And this ball is popped up. Drifting back behind the mound. And he'll put this away for the second out. Digging in. Goldschmidt. First cuts for him here with the bases open and two away. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Tried to check it and it's 0-1. Classic change of speeds right there. Threw the hitter's timing off. Got a late foul ball. Interested to see where he goes now. Good arm action there, but this one misses, and it's a ball and two strikes. As a hitter, you got to be staunch in your game plan. You know he has a nasty changeup, and you got to fight. And we'll have to leave it there as this is strike three, and that will retire the side. Four-hole hitter Frank Thomas. He'll get us started in the top of the second. Frank Thomas. And he begins the at bat with a knuckle curve looked at for strike one. Well, fans of good pitching are in for a treat today. What can we expect from today's matchup, guys? I know everyone loves the long ball, Matty, but this is why I pay the price of a ticket right here. Two of the game's best, two of the hardest throwers competing at the top of their game. Dan, you have to love this stuff. You know, Dero, we thought coming into this one it was going to be a low-scoring affair. Both of these pitches look like they're locked in early, and runs are going to be really difficult to come by. They both look like they're on point so far. The 2-2. Two -two. Strike three on a pitch in the dirt. And he makes the throw to first. Thomas is retired, and there's one away. So stepping in, Ernie Banks. He'll get to take his first cuts here. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Just a tick behind for a strike. Still looking for our first hit in the ball game. On could we see another strike out here? It's 0-2 now. Every time you go out there to start a game on the mound, you hope to settle in quickly and get into a groove. And he's definitely done that so far in the early going. Looks like he could go pretty deep into this one. Suzuki is back, and he'll get there to make the play for route number two. But here's the Hall of Famer Wade Boggs. He'll work on keeping this top of the second alive. Now a big fastball, and he's well behind it with the swing. Takes a pitch high and away for ball one. The 1-1. One, one. Fouled away. Ready to deliver the one and two. Swing and a miss at a big breaking ball. And that's how. Next will be the cleanup hitter, Ryan Braun. For the machine. The left fielder. Ryan. Braun. First pitch coming. Here it is. And he'll just fight this one off as it's chopped foul. Sinker, one ball, one strike. Skied into straightaway right. Grim is after it. 
And he tracks it down. Nice play for the first down. Stepping up now, that Ichiro expects. Suzuki. The center fielder, Ichiro. Suzuki. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Breaking ball that time that misses out of the zone. He still might be looking for that release point on that curveball early in this outing. That will look like it popped out of his hand behind his ear instead of out front. We'll see if he finds that pitch because it'll be important for him. Started to go around there. Looked like he held up in time. No. Strike two, says the third base umpire. Pulls this one into the air out into right field. Gwynn is there and he makes the catch for the second out. So that bases are empty here with two the gone and thing. in to hit next the Trevor. power hitting shortstop Trevor Story. Story. The pitch. And that misses ball one. Bottom of the second here with no score. ball runs away for ball two two and one maybe trying to back him up a bit there with the fastball three ball count right now this looks like the best chance of getting a base runner on so far there's the good fastball and he can't catch up three and two when you get yourself to a three one count and you get a fastball those are the ones you really want to punish couldn't get the bat on it so we'll see if that comes back to haunt him got him swinging made him chase outside the zone that time and that puts an end to the inning so striding forward now Johnny Bench with the game. seven eight nine the bottom catcher. of the order set to go here in the third okay. back to work now is price as he gets ahead to start the inning it's strike one Changes up on him, but that's in the dirt for a ball. Bench is a prolific power hitter, and you probably didn't need me to tell you that. Doesn't matter what kind of pitching he faces, there's a lot of pop in that bat. Two and one to count. Almost got him to go around, but instead it's ball three. And he lays off there, ball four. So the leadoff man is on here to begin inning number three. Striding right into field. the box, Tony Gwynn. Tony. He's set and Gwynn. the pitch. Flipped out the other way toward short. And that's through into left field for a base hit. So here now is the pitcher, Nolan Ryan. A fairly clear sacrifice situation here with two on and nobody out. And he tries to move those runners up a base, but this is a foul ball. Bench over at second. Gwynn on at first with nobody out. And no surprise to see the pitcher squaring around as he gets this one down. One there on the first to complete the double play. Digging in now, Jackie Robinson. Runner in scoring position with Sugan. First pitch coming, here it is. And he'll try to crowd him there to start the at bat. It's one and all. Here's a moment where you got to be a great teammate. Pick your buddy up who just grounded into a double play. I don't care what it looks like single, gaffer, homer. Just get that guy in from third and get your team back motivated again. And he fouls this one off. No score at this point, but a two out hit could get a runner in from third. Swung on and missed, and that's the final out. Here's the catcher Matt Wieters now as we move on to the bottom of inning number three. The catcher Matt Wieters. Here comes the first pitch. And he jumps at a changeup, a swing and a miss. 
Man, that's another ugly swing right there. This team is just struggling so mightily to get on base. They've looked off balance all game. A ball and a strike to count to the switch hitting catcher, Matt Wieters. A ball and two strikes now. He'll try again, one, two. Swing and a miss as he starts the third, the same way he ended the second with a punch out, Batting one away. The right fielder. So one away here Joel. with the bases empty. And former Springer. World Series MVP George Springer bats next. A ball and no strikes. Yeah, that looked like a strike, but let me tell you, when you're staring at a big zero in the hit column, getting a call like that to go your way can feel like a big victory. Can't sit back long enough, and the count evens up at one and one. Now the one and one pitch is taken for ball two. And it's two balls and two strikes now. Hey, I don't blame him right there. Giving up on that inside curveball, little front hipper. That's a tough pitch. You just can't figure out where the point of contact should be. Lifted in the air out towards left center. On the run is Griffey. But the left fielder calls him off and makes the catch. And there are two gone now. Now with the play, no David picture. Price. This Get guy is still looking at a zero in the hit column. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Well thrown sinker that time down, but in the strike zone. And a sinker dips too low there. Into the dirt, in fact. Two and one. Well, these are just extra pitches that are just going to add to your pitch count. He's not trying to work around him, and no reason to, but sometimes you just lose the strike zone for no apparent reason. Slow roller, left side. Throw onto the big target if Frank Thomas will take care of him, and that will end the inning. Striding in once again, Ted Williams comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. This game is rolling right along as we move into the middle innings with no score. You'd think by now one of these two teams would be able to get some base runners on and get him in, but that hasn't been the case. And he watches one dip low and inside for a ball, 1 and 1. And I believe they'll say he broke the plane as yes he did. It's ruled a strike. Late making contact on that swing and will do it again on one and two. He was able to foul that one off but you could tell he was definitely late. That breaking ball the pitch before that heater right there definitely threw his timing off. A little late with the swing, but he stays alive. Still two and two. The 2-2 two -two one more time. Swung on, and he went fishing in the dirt. Weeders gathers it, and the throw is there to record the first out. So the base is empty here with one away, and here comes Junior. First pitch on its way. Swing and a miss that time. It's 0-1. He's pitching well. We're working into the middle innings right now, but this is when he's really going to have to bear down. Oh, and while we talked, that pitch got away and ended up hitting him. So he'll head down to first on the hit by pitch. Number 35. From the stretch, here's the pitch. Well out in front of the breaking ball there for a strike. As a hitter, you know the pitcher's trying to work you down around the knees in a double play situation. So making him get a pitch up and actually in the zone is a must. A step on the bag for one, but he'll put this in his now pocket five. and be content with just the one out. Thanks. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Breaking ball. That's in the dirt as he takes a ball. Starts to go around, but the home plate umpire says he held up ball two. 
in the dirt. It's 3-0 and now. Wade Boggs would be next if they can keep this inning alive. He's set. Here's the 3-1. Count full. Three balls and two strikes. Full count with two outs now. So if he could put the ball in the gap somewhere, he could have a good... A swing and a miss. That retires the side and... Back to the top of the order now. And up next is Speedy D. Gordon. The second baseman. D. Here comes the first pitch. Gordon. Line to the right side. But this is right at him in right field as he hardly has to move to take it in for the first out. Stepping in and ready for another shot. Ozzie Smith. Oh for one for him here in this one. First pitch of the at bat. In there for strike one, 0 oh and 1. Pitching has the upper hand early as we're scoreless in inning number four. Behind 0 oh and 2 now. And he'll try and tempt him with one in the dirt, but he'll hold back here. It's 1 and 2. Not a real good pitch there, 0 oh and 2. Probably not what he was trying to do with that fastball. He was trying to miss probably up and away, and he threw that one down into the dirt on an 0-2 pitch. Very rarely are you going to get hitters to chase an 0-2 fastball that's down in the dirt. Now that first hit Paul Goldschmidt now. Oh. He was a strikeout victim in his first try. And he'll get dirty, but he's back in safely. Here's the first pitch to him. No contact on the sinker there, and he's behind 0-1. I mean, that's a classic case of coming off your backside right there. He lost his entire back leg, was out in front, couldn't keep his hands back. And he lays off for ball one. If you're going to have success against some of the better hitters in the game, you've got to get that pitch right there. 0-2, he's almost certainly out. 1-1, he's got a chance to really do some damage. Fouled off. The one two is laid off for ball two. Oh, it's hit to third. Five. The throw to Robinson. Relay to first in time, and just like that, this side is retired. Into the box now. Wade Bob. He'll start off the fifth in this one. Third baseman. Wade. Now the first pitch here from Price. Up and away to start the inning. It's 1 0. So earlier in the broadcast, we mentioned that we might be seeing a pitcher's duel today, and these two guys have certainly delivered on that promise. You know, Matt, sometimes it's really hard to put a finger on why a guy pitches well and why a guy is having a very difficult time. So far, he hasn't had a very good season. But you know this, when you have the stuff that this guy has, he's one out, one inning, one pitch away from turning things back around. And he's pitching more now like the guy we thought he was going to be. First pitch on its way. Well behind that fastball. It's a swinging strike. Now a double play ball here as this is on the ground to third. To Gordon for one. Relay to Goldie and that gets him as well a double play. So base is empty now after the double play. And at the plate will be the speedy outfielder Tony Gwynn. First offering on its way. Went about halfway there but it's a called strike regardless. Looks like he swung it underwater that time for strike two. Grounded to short. Smith is there. Throw on to first. Gets him and the side is retired.
Stepping into the box, Ryan Braun. We're moving through the middle of this ball game right now. They want to get things going. How about trying to get some base runners on or at least get a base hit? They don't have any hits going into this part of the game. A ball and no strikes. Now it's 2 and 0. Oh. Three and O oh now. He's had command of his pitches all day, hasn't walked a soul, but we find ourselves in a three ball count here. Want to see how aggressive he gets in the zone. And that misses ball four now. It's a leadoff walk to get the home half of the fifth underway. Now batting. Better field. Standing in, Ichiro Suzuki. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Well hit. Deep down the right field line. And mm, nearly into the hit column in a big way. Instead, it's a foul ball. Line toward the gap in left center. In there, a base hit. And that brings in the power oh, hitting shortstop oh, Trevor Story. Looking oh, to put the ball in play here. Oh, he went down on strikes in his first at bat. No balls and a strike to count. A ball and a strike to Trevor Story. Braun at second. Ichiro at first with no outs. Looks like he swung it underwater that time for strike two. And did he go around? No, he did not. Ball two. Doesn't offer it the circle change there, and it goes full three and two. Matt Wieters waiting on deck. Swing and a miss as he ran the fastball right by him for the first down. Now about it. Ready for another chance. Matt Wieters. He was a strikeout victim in his first try. Yeah, but it was a good change up, Matty. Good arm action on that pitch. Look for him to try and stay back a little bit more. Let the ball get a little deeper. Don't be shocked if this pitcher tries to rush a heater right here. Now this is slowly hit to short. Probably too slowly to get to. Return throw is in time. How about that? They do turn two and it gets... Now in the box, Nolan Ryan. He sent to lead us off in the sixth inning. The pitcher, Nolan Ryan. And a fastball to start things out here. Not close. It's a ball and no strikes. In for a strike. It's one and one. Oh, that's for sure going to be a pitch he wants back. You're not going to get many balls right in the wheelhouse from a top-level arm like this. A ball and two strikes now. The one two he is swung on and missed. He got him. So the lineup flips over and digging in Jackie Robinson. He's hitless in his two at bats so far. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Line to second where it's caught there for out number two. Settling in now, Ken Williams. He flew out his first time around and then was a strikeout victim most recently. Here's a knuckle curve that backs him up a bit. Ball one. Well, count now 1-0 and oh with a real good slugger up at the plate. This is the time as a pitcher you have to really make some good pitches. This is not the time to just groove one right down the middle. And this ball is popped up, drifting back behind the mound. Smith with the bare hand. So it's a runner at first with two men out. And here comes Junior. First pitch on its way. In there, 0 and 1. That's what makes pitching so difficult. You get the first two guys out of the inning, then you give up that two out base hit. Now you have the middle part of the order coming up, and this is where you have to really refocus on that mound, stay out of a potential big inning. And another foul ball. The 0 2 once more. Hold the string on him. Strike three swinging. Weeders has it. The throw to first is in time, and the inning is over. Digging in to try it again, George Springer. He'll get things started here in the second half of the sixth. 
Ringer. Ground ball foul down the left side. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. And a pitch in the dirt as he lays off. It's 1 and 1. In for strike two. Yeah, right there, it's tough to be able to dive out over the plate. I know it's a pitch people think you can get to, but after you're pounded in twice, that ball looks like a foot outside. And a good sinker there gets him swinging for the first down. Now to the plate, the now pitcher, that. David Price. The pitcher. He's 0 for 1 Get after fair. grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. Curveball looked at here for strike one. Oh, he has him looking silly here. It's 0 and 2. Hey, after that terrible swing, you find yourself down 0 2. Step out, deep breath. Adjust the batting gloves, flip a coin, and go all in on something. And he struck okay. him out. Number and that's eight strikeouts thus far. He Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Drops in a strike to start the at bat. Nothing and one. Swing and a miss, and he's quickly in the hole 0 and 2. This guy's pitching really well in this one so far. You could just see he's awful confident attacking the strike zone and when he comes off. The and we'll have to leave it there as this is strike three and that will retire the side. Welcome back here to the historic friendly confines of Wrigley Field. Neither team denting the run column quite yet as we look at the game summary through the first six innings of play. Now at the plate, Frank Thomas will start the seventh in what's been a fast moving pitcher's duel to date. Starting to run out of time. They haven't been able to score any runs as we're moving late into this one. A perfect time for this leadoff guy to try to get on base and ignite a rally. There's not too many umpires in the game that are going to ring that first strike right there. That was borderline up, even though it was in the zone. Hit on the ground out to short. Right to Smith. On to first, and a big out to start the seventh. One gone. Ready for another shot now. Ernie Banks. He struck out swinging in his last trip to the plate. Yeah, and kind of shocked he got blown away with a fastball. You could tell he was late on that one. And we'll see if he tries to cheat to something this A.B. No problem over there for Goldschmidt. And there are two gone now. We're digging in once again. Wade Boggs. It was a single for him in his last at-bat. First pitch on its way. Fastball just misses. That's ball one. Now a ball lined toward the alley in left center. Braun will get there and he puts Ladies it away go. to retire the side. Now at the plate, Ozzie Smith. And as you might expect with a diamond player, he's got a few tools in the box, but he's best known for his contact hitting. Not sure if this is a powerhouse pitching performance by both teams or bad hitting, but as we're moving late into this one, it's about time somebody puts something together to try to score a run. And that's going to get through into left, so there's your possible go-ahead run on base to lead off the inning. So a runner at first now with nobody out. And stepping in, the power-hitting first baseman, Paul Cody Bellinger, who come on to pinch hit here in a big spot. Cody Bellinger. Go ahead, runs aboard here at first with nobody out. And I think the threat of the stolen base got to him there as a balk has been called, and that'll move him up to second base anyway. And this catches the inside corner. Good spot there. It's 0-2. That pitch looked like it could have been a little high, but he's been calling that pitch all night. Kind of rough for a pinch hitter, but I'm sure his teammates let him know that's where the zone has been. Thomas is there and he's got it for the first out. 
Runner at second, the one away, and eight. that'll bring in the left fielder, Ryan, Ryan Braun. Raw. First pitch of the at-bat on its way. A swing and a ball to left field. That's going to get down for a base hit. And they're going to take a 1-0 lead as the run comes across to score. Stepping in, Ichiro now Suzuki. Batting. He's a Dennis diamond Fielder. level player, widely Ichiro. recognized for his blazing speed Dennis on the base Suzuki. pass. Strike one to start the at bat. And now a balk has been called here as he came to the plate too quickly. And you can forget about that double play now as the runner moves into scoring position with one away. Lifted in the air toward the line and right. And that is off the wall, but in foul territory. Foul ball. Now a look and a throw back to second. And he's back standing. And he'll turn and throw back to second again, keeping particularly close tabs on him. He's ready. Here's the 0-2 pitch. Boy, tough to lay off, but he's glad he did. It's one and two now. Wow, that's a tough pitch to take. 0-2 fastball just off the corner, and I mean just off the corner. And he'll take this one to the bag for the out, but meanwhile the runner will move up 90 feet to third base. In now, Trevor Story. He was sat base. down on strikes Trevor. in his last at-bat. Yeah, he's got to put that one behind him, especially with runners in scoring position. Those punch-outs will stick with you a little longer. Ready with the 1-0. Not close. It's 2-0. We've seen him go down on strikes more than once in this game, so this has been a better approach by him at this. There's a swing and a drive, and everybody's just going to sit back and watch that one fly. A no-doubt home run. So the bases are clear now following the home run. And digging in is the switch-hitting catcher, Matt Wieters. Infield shifted well to the right. Here's the first pitch. Good setup, and the circle change hits the spot. 0-1. And there's ball one. A 1-1. One, one. Grounded foul toward the coaching box at third. Ready to deliver the one and two. Now this ball's hit out to deep left center. Williams ranging back. And he makes a nice catch on the track as that ends the inning. Johnny Bench as they'll look to get something going here and even this game up. Now the first pitch here from Price. And it's fouled away. Price ready with the 0-1. Oh, got him a swing out of his shoes on that one. Nothing in two. There's another pitch for a strike, and this guy's really attacking hitters well tonight, being aggressive early on. And if he continues to throw strikes like he is, he's going to have a pretty good night. Ground ball sent back up the middle. Smith on the move. He's got it. Throw on to first in time, so the leadoff man is set down to open up any number eight. Digging in, Tony Gwynn. He's singled in two trips to the plate thus far. Gwynn. First pitch of the at bat. Fouled away. Didn't quite catch the zone there. Ball one. And he lays off for a ball. Two and one. Swinging a ball hit on the ground. On to first, and the price is right here, two away. Oh, 
Jason Kendall please. will get the call to pinch hit here as we'll see what he can do with two out and the base is empty. A bouncer up the middle. And that is through into center field, a base hit. Now to the plate, now Jackie Adam, Robinson. He struggled at the top of Jackie. the lineup in this one, hitless to this point. Here comes the first pitch. This pitch is popped up. Bellinger has room in foul territory, and that ends the inning. Ken Giles is on to pitch out of the bullpen in the bottom half of the eighth. Now at the plate, George Springer. He went down on strikes last time up. Here's the pitch. Hit high and deep out to left. Williams going back at the track. On the warning track, he makes the catch. At the plate, David Price. He's grounded out and struck out in his two trips to the plate. He's set. Here it comes. Swing and a miss on the slider. Nothing and one. shot here out towards short. Throw to Thomas is in time for the out. Here's D. Gordon now. Over no 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 three with a couple of strikeouts Second for him base. to this point in the e. ball game. Jordan. Line drive to left. Well, this is going to hang up there just long enough to be taken in on the run in shallow left, and that ends the inning. Riding in to start the nine, Ted Williams. And they'll need him to get something going here. Ted Williams. He pulls this one into right. And that ball gets down out near the wall and should be extra bases. And now this is thrown wildly, just getting it into the infield. And he'll pull into second here with nobody out. The center fielder. So coming to the plate, Ken Griffey Jr. First delivery to him on the way. And a ball 1-0. You know, he's one of their guys they rely on to get their offense going. They need a rally, so we'll see if he can spark one here. That evens it up 1-1. One one. The 1-1. One one. Hit high and deep out to left center field. Suzuki looking up. Into the bleachers and gone. At the plate, Frank Thomas. He got on top of one. It was a ground out victim base. last time. Frank. Kenley Tom. Jansen comes out of the bullpen to shut things down now here in the ninth. Kenley Jansen. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. And he takes ball one. Well, should be 2-0, and oh, but he goes way out of the zone to go after that one, and it's even 1-1. One and one. Popped him up. Bellinger is over, and he puts it away for the first down. Standing in, Ernie Banks. No hits in three tries so far. He struck out once. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Way late on the fastball for strike one. Swung on and hit on the ground at the Wizard. Fielded cleanly on the first, and they're an out away. Two gone here in the ninth. Now that Digging it. in, Wade Bond. He lined Bob. out in his last trip, so looking for better fortunes here. No balls in one strike. One run game here in the top of the ninth.
crowd of over 39,000 on their feet. Oh, and he strikes him out to end it here as they were able to get the possible tying run to the plate but could not cash in. Now is our final line score. First for your victorious home team. Three runs, four hits, no errors. They left three men on base.